It's two sports tonight on your award-winning channels, television. Okay, uh, okay Uchi, let's uh, move on and talk about uh, the Super Eagles uh, and the two friendlies ahead. All problems sorted now. Um, everybody that needs to, apart from one or two, uh, everybody that needs to be there, especially the, the contingent, players and coaches. Yes, especially the contingent from here, uh, 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 um, are safely uh, where they should be uh, for the two games against Mali and, and, and Luxembourg. So uh, le le let's quickly talk about uh, what's happening in camp uh, right now, updates uh, from the team. Well, Yemi, as of this um, moment, um, the reports we gathered is that um, 17 players are All in right. camp. You know, they trained this morning and um, they are supposed to have trained again this night. Um, tomorrow on Thursday, some players will be arriving too. Um, to increase the number of players in camp. Um, we also learned that Ihan Acho, that's Kelechi Ihan Acho, Man City um, star and uh, Kenneth Omero have been held by, by visa hitches. And um, the, 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 there are indications that they will be able to you know, secure visas and uh, arrive France ahead of the friendly. Uh, record that the friendly will um, take place on Friday and the next one on uh, May 30. You know, so um, I think it's a good one. 17 players is you know, decent enough for the coaches to you know, build a team for the first game against Mali. I think um, the game against Mali will be quite tougher yeah. because uh, they are going to the Nations Cup and um, they, they have a team already. Um, and, and these are African players that are going to give you know, the Super Eagles um, a, a, you know, a, a, a big fight their money, yeah. uh, because of the physicality that they bring into their game. And most of the players are also based in Europe. So uh, we are expecting a, a tough flight game on Friday. All right, so at this stage, no more withdrawals. Um, uh, we hear about Victor Moses. Uh, that, that's not going to be there. Uh, well, they, 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 they are, they are this, they, there's this kind of doubts. Initially, we heard that he uh, was injured, but I read something before coming on air today that um, you know, the Nigerian Football Federation not quite pleased with the way Victor Moses pulled out. Know, pull, uh, pulls out of, tries to pick the games that um, it's like he's attaching um, preference, priority to some games. Um, he doesn't want to play in friendly games, but he wants to play in competitive game. You know, he was, he was in the national team for the two friendlies against Egypt and Kaduna and um, Alexandra. But um, before... Okay, the AFCON qualifiers. Yeah, the AFCON qualifiers. Before those two games, uh, you also remember that... Um, it's been a while. Yes, he, he made himself unavailable for the friendly games. Uh, citing lack of fitness and injury, uh, injuries. You know, but there is no clear-cut you know, indication, confirmation that he was injured, okay. prompting the Federation to begin to think that um, we can't continue to condone this guy. Um, you can't continue to select the games you want to play, play. Uh, because that's kind of disregard and lack of respect for your teammates, for the national team, and for your country. Well, let, let's quickly um, talk, about, talk about the coaching crew. Um, they are in a situation where nobody wants to be. But, but, but um, what will be your target? Um, what, what will be the realistic expectation um, from these two uh, matches from the perspective of the coach? Well, um, I think they have a tough task because um, Salisu has been there. Um, has already, it's already um, a, a part of the setup in the national team. Um, Kennedy Boboye and Imama Makakpabo are coming you know, to the national team for the first time on the strength of what they have achieved in the with local their, level, the domestic, the, clubs. The domestic um, 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 scene with Rangers and um, Abia Warriors. Uh, these are young coaches, you know, they, they have aspirations, um, they, they, they have ambitions. So I, I think what will determine their success is that, you know, the readiness to work as a team, you know, the ready, uh, if they are ready to assist Salisu Yusuf, um, give him the necessary assistance in terms of uh, technical inputs, you know, you might say that um, the time is not enough, but the little training they, 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 they have organized, uh, today they have done two trainings, tomorrow they're going to train twice. They should be able to, you know, uh, look at the strengths and weaknesses of the team yeah. and support the man in charge. If they're able to do that, especially against Mali, yeah. you know, then uh, against Luxembourg, we don't expect that um, they will find it very difficult to get a decent result. But for Mali, it might be a bit, a bit difficult, but let's see how they play under this uh, present technical arrangement. So your, your, your expectation as a fan, and that's from a, you, you've told us what you think the coaches need to do, but your expectation as a fan from those friendlies, knowing that, um, that there's still that issue of stability with the Super Eagles. So what would be your expectation uh, fr from those matches? My expectation would be quite modest. You know, uh, some players are coming 
you know, to the national setup. Um, this is their first time. Some um, are just returning. You know, some are just returning. A player like Benga Rokoyo, this is first time of being called up to the national team. So I want to, I want to have a modest expectation. You also uh, agree with me that, um, you know, they will draw out some players, Mikel Lobi, Abbe Musa, for the Yobo testimony that will also hold on the same day um, with the friendly against uh, Mali. Uh, would have, you know, weakened the side. But I think it's an opportunity for the, these other players who are coming back, the new ones, to also assert themselves. You know, we are looking for the way forward, and the way forward is try to bring in um, new players to fortify, you know, areas, perceived um, weak areas in the team. So for me, I want to be modest in my expectation. Let's see how the, the players, the, how they play under, you know, a, a, a match um, situation. Let's see how they bond yeah. the synergy. Uh, the transition from defense to attack uh, to midfield to attack. You know, I, I want to see how Benga Rokoyo, if he gets to play, um, will perform. Musa Mohamed, if he gets Musa, to play, Musa right Mohamed. Back. You know, I, 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 I have also joined people who clamored for the inclusion of Musa Mohamed because we lack that uh, pace in the right um, um, wing back position. And if he's going to come, let's see how he's going to fit into the situation, how he's going to cope, going, joining the attack and coming back. So those are the things we want to see. Okay. All right, uh, let's quickly uh, spend a few minutes we have left uh, talk about the Federation Cup. Um, a lot of surprising uh, results. Um, I don't want to be mischievous, but um, let me allow you to run through the results because I don't want to be mischievous. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the Amish Sunshine Stars um, defeated Giwa FC, not, not too good for Giwa. So much trouble for them. So it means they will not be involved in football f for, for a long time? Yeah, I mean, they have been knocked out of the f um, Federation Cup, so I mean, they can't take part. They're going to be inactive for a while. Yeah, yeah that, that's what it means. Then, uh, first by lost to Niger Tornadoes, expectedly. Mm -hmm. um, Jay Atete defeated Aqua Salet 1 0. MFM, you know, qualifying through the skin of their teeth on, on penalties. penalties 3 2. Yes, against Economy Babes. Prime FC beat Inner Stars 2 1. You know, and um, continuing, Kogi United also qualified, scraping through. They beat uh, United. Ikiti United, 40 on penalties. Go round, went round, Yube Stars 3-1. <laughs> and shooting stars, you know, shining. I didn't know their yeah, they stadium. forgot their problems yes, yes, in the yes, league. They and beat uh, Wikifida. Advance to, yeah, to the round of 32. Yes. Then Heartland, one of the upsets of um, the day, uh, losing to top world of Ikiti yeah. on penalties, 3-4. Uh, Rivers United beat Papillo. Uh, the two teams for me, uh, for me, most state, my dear state are out, Papillo FC and Heartland. So wow. sad for the, <laughs> for, for the state. Then Plato United, Hamad, Zara, 4 0. Wicked Torres also, you know, scraping through 3 2 against FRS on penalties. Yerma Light against Wari Wolves. Wari Wolves, you know, qualifying, you know, beating Yerma Light 3 2. Casino United beat FC Lokoja 3 0. Jigawa Golden Stars beat Gasaka 3 0. Well, these are some of the results uh, from uh, the Federation Cup round of 64. The men, yeah, uh, the ladies are uh, not involved uh, in this one. Uh, any of these results come uh, as a surprise uh, to you? I've been impressed with Rivers United. Some people say they are on top of the league by default. Well, I don't know, but, but I've been impressed. Uh, another 4-0 uh, four um, victory um, f for them. How, how do you assess? 4-3, uh, actually, against um, four, Yeah. Yeah, 4-3. Uh, uh, I, I think they have done well. I think they started slowly. Yes, they started slowly. I remember interviewing the, uh, the manager of the team, Stanley Guma, uh, the first uh, game of the season, and he, he complained that they, 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 at that time they were not the able transition. to clear mm -hmm. some players that um, they registered. And when they cleared them, uh, they had strengthened the team. I know they inherited some, you know, they had to merge. Uh, there was a merger between Sharks and um, Dolphins. Dolphins, and that has strengthened the team. And he, at the time, he was giving... Uh, uh, some ultimatum to either win some of this game or be shown the way out. Uh, then the, the motivation angle to it too. The, the River State Governor promised to pay, and he actually did. He paid these players backlog of their signing office. And you see, when you do all these things, the players will have to they will respond. They will respond, and that's what they have done. Okay, um, let, let me quickly ask you this. I know it's a very difficult question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Um, your overall assessment after 19 matches. Uh, this season, this 2015-2016 uh, MPFL season, your overall assessment, quality of play, uh, ref of shading, uh, and the, then the organizers as well. Those three aspects, quickly if you can. The quality of play on the field, the officiating, and the organizers. The quality has been, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, quite um, you know, great. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen teams on TV have watched live games, and uh, 
the quality of play. You know, some critics of Nigerian football that had the opportunity of watching one or two games, you know, we are marveled at, at, at the level. You know, I was in my office when some, some guys were watching the match between Rangers and Heartland, and, you know, they, 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 they were so excited that uh, they couldn't believe that, um, you know, teams from the Nigerian Premier League could play that well, play up to that level. So I think the quality has been, you know, you know very high. Um, the official team, you can't get to 100%. But I, I think you, you, the, the evidence is that teams now go out and play their games. Okay. Or, or like before, when you are going for an away game, you, you want to restrict your style of play. But when you defeat. are aware that um, the official is going to give you a level playing ground, you go there and express And finally, the organizers? Yeah, they, they have done well. You okay. know, they, they, there have been some you know, gray areas, but it's, They've done well. they, they have done well. Okay. And uh, we want more improvement. Okay. And that's how we li leave it um, on the show tonight. We do hope that you've enjoyed everything that we've um, brought to you. Oyen Wichi Wajikamu, thank you for your time uh, on the show. Osno Konakman was here earlier, and um, Rashid Yakini's daughters as well uh, also um, were here earlier on the show. We'll do this again tomorrow. Bye-bye now.